Hey guys, welcome back. So sorry uh, my last video was cut off. But let's continue our talk regarding the current guns and ammo situation. Okay, so for this video, um, we're going to talk about why did we or we, are we still, you know, we're still having it. So why do we have a shortage in guns and ammo? Simple because a lot of people are buying them, especially first time gun buyers. First time gun buyers. So some, I, I saw some comments and they were saying, so how did you know that they were first time um, uh, gun buyers? The owners themselves, the, the gun store owners themselves, when interviewed, they were saying, oh, they, they are first time gun owners. Okay, so at one point, the background check uh, crashed. You know, the, the, the thing that you need to pass for you to get a gun in the United States. Okay, so a lot of people are going with the AR-15. So this is my Radical Firearms build. Radical Firearms upper. This is an old design, old uh, upper. They don't sell this anymore. And then a Palmetto lower. Okay, so I just want to share with you my experiences. So one of my view, my, one of my viewers um, on my other channel, my Filipino channel, uh, he said he's from California, and then um, before his wife doesn't want doesn't want any guns in the house. So they discussed the current situation and possible scenarios because of the pandemic that's happening today. So the wife finally allowed him to buy a gun. So he went to the gun store and was able to buy a Bushmaster. So I, I he said, oh, I was not happy. I did not get a good selection. There was not a good selection at the store at that time. I said, it's good for you that guy, a Bushmaster, because some people, you know, just scrounging uh, what's, what, what's left over after the initial panic. So even single shot shotguns were, were gone. So good for you, you got what? So similar story with my friend here. Uh, he said, oh, before my wife was not, uh, uh, you know, on board with me buying an AR-15, uh, he said, uh, my wife doesn't uh, feel the need to have an AR-15 since they already have a pistol. Yeah, he has a um, Smith & Wesson SD9VE and uh, uh, Springfield XD, XD uh, I forgot, XDM. So, but uh, they talked about it, you know, the possible scenarios. Uh, the possibility that if the lockdown extends and you know a lot of people are out of job you know no means to buy food and other supplies so you know might be a possibility of chaos oh, big word chaos anarchy something like that so on that day when uh, his wife said yes you can get one then he immediately said, oh, I need to get one today before he, before she changed her mind again. Okay, so that's it. So, um, also, regarding my wife, she said that of all the guns that uh, she shot, she said that she likes the platform better, the AR platform. She said it's easier to shoot as compared to the other platform. Actually, this, for her, the AR platform is easier to shoot than you know a regular pistol, because uh, you know you have uh, three-point contact, recoil system, and so on and so forth. So I just remembered what Uncle Joe said that oh, AR AR 15s are hard to shoot and so on and so forth. So it's my wife is 411 and she prefers the AR platform. Okay, so. Um, right now, every day, I check uh, online regarding some deals, you know, gun deals, and they're the same, no more, uh, no, uh, no change, actually, especially on the AR platform. 
So like I said in my previous video, if you can wait it out, you'll get, get you know, uh, better options. And what else? I'm looking at uh, also I'm looking at the Bushmaster because I saw a I, I saw an article that Bushmaster will forever be closed I don't know just for nostalgia you know reasons uh, I'd like to add the Bushmaster to my collection if ever if it's true that they'll be closed forever and also what else oh um regarding ammo if you are a follower of my channel, um, I did purchase a lot of ammo last December when Walmart was getting rid of them. So I'm good. So that's a, you know, you know what preppers are talking about now that the, the pandemic is the best thing that happened to preppers because now they're not calling us crazy. They're just, you know, my friends I know think I'm crazy. Now they're just calling us prepared. Oh, it's good that you're prepared. So you have less of ammo, less of guns, and masks. But before, I know that uh, they think I'm crazy. So it's nice being prepared. So what else? So let's just continue to monitor the current situation. As of now, there's still no reason actually to panic. It's just that... Uh, when the news was introduced that we have this kind of situation, a lot of people were not prepared because they were not expecting this to happen. So keep on prepping guys.